that is not your sweater. Tomorrow night, the Genie Awards will be presented to the year's best in Canadian film. There will be glitz and glamour, of course, but hanging over the celebrations will be the knowledge of how few Canadians go to see Canadian films. Well, there is a plan to change that, a travelling show to convince high school students that Canadian films can be cool. Here's Sandra Abma. How do you transform a school auditorium into a movie theater. We're going to get rolling on this, and afterwards we'll have a wonderful Q&A. Enjoy the film. Real Canada is a traveling film festival that takes Canadian movies on the road and brings them straight to the school auditorium. If you can't bring the kids to the movies, bring the movies to the kids. Bill, I'm your husband. Fiona, it's grand. We've been married for 45 years. Look at me, Fiona. That is not your sweater. Now in its fourth year, Real Canada has screened nearly 200 Canadian films to almost 20,000 students across Ontario and in Vancouver. Here she is now, lot 72, so-called Red Violin. We caught up with the road show at Northern Secondary School in Toronto and Ottawa's Glebe Collegiate. In, in some ways we were inspired by the, the struggle in the 70s to get Canadian literature into high schools and how hard people fought to make that happen. We felt Jack Bloom and Sharon Corder run Real Canada. But if you think you recognize Jack Bloom from somewhere else, it might be from here. Uh, what's cooking good looking? Your fly's undone. <laughs> We have a wonderful body of work, and it was time that kids were introduced to these movies. Everybody wants their films to be seen. No Canadian filmmaker makes a film that they want to sit in their basement. <laughs> they really want people to come see them. I would see more Canadian films if they were more available to me, if they were in nearby theaters. I guess I've seen two, <laughs> for sure. You never get exposed to any Canadian film. You never even know that they're out there. If Canadian films have an identity problem, no one knows that better than the filmmakers and stars behind the movies. Are you telling me how to do my job? That's why Real Canada not only brings in critically acclaimed films, but the filmmakers as well. We have two guests with us. One is the producer of Last Night, Mr. Neil Fishman. Thank you. The program brings in established actors and producers. Obviously, Don needs no introduction. Up and comers. As promised, uh, we have two of the star. They are Kevin Hayes and Clay Bennett. And a legend. Mr. Gordon Kingston, ladies and gentlemen. During the Real Canada Film Festival, it's the filmmakers who are the teachers. You have a lot of emotional scenes with uh, Julie Christie. Did you ever find it hard uh, to come off of set and release that, that emotion? I don't carry it away, you know. Don't take it back. She did that, oddly enough, more than I did. She had not been playing leading roles for uh, a few years. Uh, so when this happened, she couldn't turn it down. Or what would you like to see in the morning? For the organizers, it's critical that the students take an active role in choosing the films that come to their schools. They order tickets just like in a film festival. We have an online ticketing system. They pick the films they want to see. It's really important. I mean, they, no one wants to have a film shoved down their throats. So this way, there's, when they come in, they're coming to see a film that they've chosen already. It's a film festival. It's not a film lecture. I'm not really a hairstylist, you know, I'm a barber, I don't usually do women. I want you to make me look totally different. How can you work against the juggernaut of, of marketing that comes from Hollywood films with these kids? Right. Well, you have to instill, you know, you can't. <laughs> the answer to that is you can't beat that, the American system, but then, you know, no one really can beat that system anywhere in the world, or, you know, with very few exceptions. But, you know, what you have to do is you have to instill in them a sense of, pride about you know our stories and if you can reach them then you know they'll seek others when we were shooting in New Orleans we went to this area and said this and it looks like this program could be working turning Canadian high school students into Canadian film fans 
like uh, Real Candy came to our school last year, and uh, it really did captivate me, like the movies I saw last year. So it's definitely like intrigued me to uh, getting more into the culture. The, I think it was really it was great that you guys came and brought these because it's provoked our interest more to going out and finding more Canadian films to watch ourselves. The first coming through schools this way, perfect circuitous way, and. The to to uh, to emblazon the business again, you know, and I just I'm I'm so fond of it. I just, you know, and uh, I feel as though uh, uh, I've done something useful, you know. What I do find sad and what I do find pathetic is people who don't know themselves or people who don't like themselves. It's the great, you know, because really when you make these films, in some ways, the idea of high school students getting into them and and kids getting excited by your films. Uh, that's sort of the biggest reward you can imagine. Sandra Abma, CBC News, Ottawa. Clara Martin will have your weather next.